Who are you? Uh, I'm here. <laughs> no, who are you? Hi everyone. Uh, it took me a long time to get the courage to talk about Marsa. Um, I came here in 2008 from Egypt in Ethical Asylum. And um, I was not aware of anything because I was running from what are you facing right now? Mm. You know, I was molested by my cousin. I was arrested by the police in Egypt. I've been stabbed my, by my own brother. So I was always constantly running away from harassment and craziness in my own country. And this is happening until now in, in my country. So when I came here, I was not aware and I just met my friends and I was not aware of what's happening exactly in this country. Only when COVID-19 happened and I started reading about Marsha Bijanta. And it just break my heart because the similarity of our characters <coughs> is very is very similar. We started wearing clothes when we were five women clothes. And we, sex we were both sexually assaulted when I read her story. And also our, you know, I, I don't want, because the family are here and I, I read that her mother also, when she was telling her that you were being a homosexual lower than a dog, and my mom told me the same thing. And also, all of this stuff, it just hate me up. And just hearing that the trans, that the country that I run from, to be protected here, and I still get arrested. Mm. <laughs> So I didn't know where to go. Like, and my black friends and brown friends, they're getting killed. So the T doesn't exist in the LGBT. There is no T. I mean, with all the respect to the gay community, with everyone, I, the T, the, I, I was shocked. I was talking to trans people. They were political asylum in Europe. They were doing a political asylum in Europe. So in Europe. A lot, a lot of them, they live in the U.S. and they don't political asylum. So, I don't know where to go and I don't know why it's the hatred and why they are after us and why they are killing us and why they are not giving the recognition, even in Fire Island Bynes, and I have to beg to put her name in the point, why are they are waiting for to put her name? Why? Give me the reason why they are waiting for to put her name. Uh, there is one, more, more than 1,500 people signed the petition in Fire Island Point. And I've been so quiet about it. And I've been sending emails, waiting for everyone to come back to me. No one is getting back to me. And I'm, I don't want to uh, insinuate to, because she's black or brown. I don't want to put this between us and the community there. But it's time. Everybody, even Governor Como, he 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 put her name in a Brooklyn Park. So everybody's honor her. What does she honor her in 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 in, uh, in, the, in the pines? We already the petition is being signed. Put her name there and honor her everywhere. And Sylvia Rivera, honor her and Chai Grove too. Honor these women; they're being killed and harassed. So people doesn't harass us. If you don't honor them, so there's something wrong with us. That's why we've been harassed and being killed. Because you look at us and upside down. Our country are killing us. There is a Yemeni girl being killed and crying to me. Other people are calling me and they please help us. It's everywhere. I'm sick and tired. So for her honor, and I want to say something just for a good note. Because I came from Egypt and I, I, I love history. And Marcia B. Johnson, She's Hathor, she's the goddess now. And she's black and I'm sure she's Egyptian. Because my family looks like... <laughs> Hathor is the goddess of love and celebration and music. She's the bride and she's up there. And you would never be her, she's a goddess now. So that's all, I love you. Thank you.